Hi guys, in this lecture you are going to learn the box sizing. So first of all, what is the box sizing? The box sizing is just related to the width and height, so it is hard to explain. So that's why here I'm going to show you it. And here I have already created a div and its border width and height. Here is the div. And now here I'm going to create, I'm going to give the box sizing property. Here is the box. First of all, you have to write box and then here is minus sizing here it is and now the default value of the box sizing is content box here is the content box and now here is the box sizing property so now i'm going to tell you about its functionality when we give the content box so the width of this div or in other words the width of the HTML element also include the width of the content you cannot understand this point here I'm going to show you here I'm going to copy this paragraph and then paste it here so now here is the logic when we include the content inside the div so the div width and height must change it should change and we are going to check it and here you see that its width and height is not changed. Why the width and height of this div is not changed? Because here I'm going to tell you about this thing. It's the logic when you put something in another thing. So its shape is changed. But here it's not changed. Why? Here when we give the content box property context content box value to the box sizing so what happened here the width and height of the div also include the width and height of the content or in other words you can say that there is no width and height of this content so that's why the width and height of the div is not changed or so why its width and height is not existing because its width and height is already included in the width and height of the div or you can say that this 300 pixel is the width of the div and it is also the width of the content so that's why when we put the content inside the div so its width is not changing because this 300 pixel already have the width of the content and now I hope you understand content box functionality when we apply this content box value so the width have the value of the content but it doesn't have the padding and the border in the width so now when we give the padding to this div so its width and height is going to be changed because it is not included inside this width inside this 300 pixel so now its width is 320 pixel the div width is now 320 pixel that is not changed by you putting this content and if we change the width of the border so the width of the div is already going to be changed here you see that so now here I'm going to wrap it up all when we give the content box so the width and height of the HTML element also include the width and height of the content so that's why when we put the content so the width of the HTML element is not going to be changed and the second thing is the when we give the content box so the width and height of the html element does not include the padding and the border so that's why when we give the padding and the border to any html element so the width and height of that element is changed and here i want to show you the second value is here is i'm going to change it border box when we give the border box so it also include the width and height of the content so that's why the width and height of the content is not included and here i want to tell you something about the padding here i'm going to remove this text and now here i'm going to give the padding here i am going to give it padding 100 pixel so now it width must need to change and here 
you see that its width is not changed here you see that its width, width is same here I'm gonna remove it then you can see its effect clearly here you see that when we give the padding so its width is not changing why because when we give the border box property so the HTML element width is include the content width it does it also includes the padding in this width and the border in this width you can say that this 300 pixel include the padding border and the content width of the element in it and here you see that the width of this div is not changing we have give the padding and the border so this is the border box so thank you for watching this video if you have any problems so kindly at the discussion i will help you as much as i can